cool. And now uh, press here, assign to controller, and go find uh, the eyeball here in the list of objects in the scene. Uh, you have to type here, cat recap. Uh, it will depend on the, uh, the hierarchy you you have and the naming that you have chosen. I'm going to find my eye bone here. Right eye, this one is the one I want. And select transform. Rotation, C rotation. Okay, select that, hit OK, and now we are setting this to. Well, I, I'm not sure. Oh, I selected. I selected the. I made a mistake. I selected the the mesh instead of uh, instead of the bone. So come back here, cat rig, right eye, uh, layer trans setup, rotation, and you see we need to select a driven a driven property and select C rotation. Okay. And now we will type in an expression. This is this is going to be very simple. It will just be eyeball zero, the variable we just created, and we will apply a percentage. So say we want this uh, eyelid to move, uh, like to rotate 30 percent of the rotation that the eyeball makes in the c-axis. We type in this eyeball c rod uh, multiply 0 0.3 and hit evaluate. Oh, I'm sorry. I use a comma instead of a point. Evaluate. That's it. And do the same thing for the upper eyelid. Uh, Come over here to the C rotation property of the controller that we just uh, created and select a float expression. Create again that variable, eyeball C route. Create, uh, assign to controller. Go and dive for the C rotation property of the controller of the eye bone and type in the same expression again eyeball C row but this time we'll we will use a higher higher number, say point six. Evaluate. Cool. So let's try this out. Right now, if I if I move my right eye control, that's it. The lids will follow along, and also uh, we can still control the offset of the lids with the other control we have we have created just a moment ago. So uh, the only thing you need to do is maybe. Give some order to this uh, and put some text just to guide you to so you know uh, which things, which controls are which ones. And make this uh, like a little more useful, usable. But. That's it. How that's how you build the eyes, and that was the other complicated part of the of the process. And knowing uh, what I know, knowing what we know now, uh, 
you are ready to go ahead and build all the other controls that you need. Add new controls if you need them, new adjustment layers. You will have to make a lot of use of the reaction manager dialog, but that's it. It's there's nothing more than this. All right, so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial, or at least that it's been useful to you. Uh, I did this because I couldn't find any tutorials on this topic, and CAD and Max help. It kind of still needs more work, I suppose. I still haven't seen if uh, they've added more uh, help in the 2012 edition. Uh, but well, I'm leaving this on YouTube so that everyone can access this information for free. And that's all. This is my blog and portfolio at I do not code dot blogspot dot com. And well, see you on the next one.